Okay, so in the previous video we um, uh, discussed the uh, Lambert W function and, uh, and in that video I promised you that uh, we'd look at increasingly more uh, complicated uh, equations that can be solved with the Lambert W function. Um, if you haven't um, watched that video or you don't know anything about Lambert W function then uh, please take a look on the Gresty Academy channel, Simple Guide to the Lambert W function graph, uh, in which we um, solved um, the equation x e to the x equals various values of c to explain uh, precisely what the function is. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Lambert W function now to solve a uh, slightly different uh, equation solving x to the power of x equals 2. Right, now what we need to do, let's get straight into it, what we need to do is we need to get uh, x to the power of x equals 2 in the form z e to the z equals c so that it is then solvable by using the uh, uh, the Lambert W function and the solution will be z equals w of c which we think we can then calculate using an online calculator. So what we need to do, how do we get x to the x equals 2 into the form z e to the z equals c. Okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to take logs of both sides. So x log x equals log 2. That's just taking both logs of both sides and moving the x down. Um, and then after that, so we need to use a little trick. Um, and the trick is that x equals e to the power of log x. Uh, and again, we've used this little trick a few times. And, and if you're not uh, convinced by it, um, uh, then let's just let... Uh, uh, a equal e to the power, oh, sorry, e to the power of log b, and then take log. So log a equals log b log e, and that, that is equal to 1. So log a equals log b, so a equals b. So um, whenever we have a, we can replace it by e to the log b. So what we're going to do here is we're going to replace x by e to the power of log x times log x equals log 2. Now, hey presto, we have one side of the equation in the form that we need it which is e to the z times z or z e to the z. So we now know that log x equals w of log 2 just by basically uh, comparing this equation to this equation here z equals z equals equals c and therefore, if log x equals w of log 2, then our answer x equals e to the power of w log 2. And that is the solution to the equation x to the power of x equals 2. Now, um, so far so simple. Let's just check to make sure that uh, e to the w log 2, as it's the first one that we've done, let, let's just check. So um, we go on to an online calculator to find w of log 2 and all we do on a scientific calculator or online character, uh, calculator we plug in w of log 2 and that gives us approximately 0.4444 and then e to the power of 0.4444 is equal to approximately 1.559 and if we put 1.559 into x to the power of x equals 2 so we put uh, 1.559 in there we will find that the answer is indeed 2.